Hey guys, it's Tracy with All Things Applique. Today we are going to talk through how to create a name using our Christmas lights embroidery alphabet. Um, so in order to achieve the weaving effect, um, you're going to want to split your name into multiple objects. So let's do a new one over here. Let's start by creating the um, first or every other letter of the word Aubrey. So we don't want to just type out A-U-B-R-E-Y. We want to do A space B space E. And that's going to give us the first three letters of Aubrey. Then we're going to want to create a new object and do the other letters of Aubrey, which will be U space R space Y and hit enter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the letters on these to a different color just so we can kind of see um, so we can see the two different objects easily. Okay, so now I have my A, B, E, and my U, R, Y, but they're right on top of each other, which doesn't really work. So I'm going to take this red object and I'm just going to shift it to the right. Okay, now that spacing actually looks pretty good. If you have some letters um, or some names like Charlotte that have an L in it, an L is very thin, so the spacing may not look right. And so if you need to move individual letters, you just highlight the object that you're working with and then you can click on this little green square and nudge those letters left or right, up or down, whatever you want. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is add a strand of lights. Now I kinda looked at this ahead of time and decided that lights four is what I wanted to use. And so the letters, the BX letters for lights four, um, they are in kind of the W, X, Y, and Z capital area. So I'm gonna just start with a Y and I'm going to change um, this to be my Christmas lights um, alphabet, the BX file that has all the lights in it. And that's facing the wrong way. So I'm just gonna grab that blue circle and shift it until it gets to be horizontal. Um, that's a little bit short, so I'm gonna go up a letter to Z. Still a little, oops, still a little bit short. I think we go to numbers next. No, let's see, hang on. I'm gonna go back over to my cheat sheet real quick. Um, and for lights for, oh, I go to a lowercase a to go a little bit bigger. So you can use that cheat sheet if you need to. Okay, so there's lowercase a, there's lowercase b, and that's about the size that I want. And so I'm just gonna center this to where it's kind of on either, just on the edge of the full name. But right now, if we zoom in, you can see that the lights are going on top of all of the letters. But what I prefer is to do kind of a weaving effect, and this is why we did the name in two different objects. So we're gonna take this lights and we're just gonna move it in between the two objects. So now when you stitch this on your machine, the first step will be the letters A, B, and E. The second step will be the light strand. It'll stitch the black line, and then it'll stitch all the different lights. And your third step will be to come back in and do the U, R, and Y. Um, now you can stitch the, all the name green. I just split it into red and green so we could see it easier today. But um, now you can see that some of the lights is stitching below the red letters, but on top of the green letters, which I just think is such a neat effect. Um, so you can do one light strand or something else fun we can do is we can grab this lights and we can kind of move it to the top and then we can add another one to the bottom. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a copy and paste of this um, letter. <laughs> the screen record is making, when I do control paste, it, it's wanting me to change my, um, stop my video. So that's what threw me off for a little bit. Um, so now we have two of the same lights. And so what I like to do is to flip it horizontally, to flip it vertically, and then bring it down to the bottom. And again, I kind of want it to stitch in between my letters. So I'm going to try to move it right up into here. Um, and that just creates such a fun look. Um, let me share with you just a couple of other ones today. This is Sophia that I did in a similar way of using two strands that are kind of mirror images of each other. And then I played around with a monogram and I love the way this turned out. So this, the E and the S are a two inch letter and the B is a three inch letter and then I used one of our 
kind of corner strands of lights to make this pretty swirl on the top and the bottom. So, so many possibilities. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create, but I just wanted to show how you get this uh, weaving effect within Embrilliance. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching.